morning traders. U.S. equities snapped a, a four-day winning streak as the, the bad news is good news narrative uh, for equities seemed to falter on tu in Tuesday's session. Uh, before the cash session, the JOLTS job openings figure was released. It did come in much lower than expected. Now, this is a key gauge of the U.S. labor market tightness and one that the Fed has, has referenced throughout its aggressive interest rate hiking cycle. Uh, it was closely watched, especially ahead of this week's uh, non-farm payroll report on Friday. Um, rate hike odds for May dropped to 40 percent, uh, so 60 percent expectation they're going to hold now, the Fed. This is not enough to rescue equities, though, as, as recession fears took over. So the, the Dow and NASDAQ and the S&P 500 all finishing down about half a percent. Um, equity markets weren't helped either by comments from Jamie Dimon of JP Morgan. In his annual letter to shareholders, uh, he stated the banking crisis is not over yet. Uh, and would have repercussions for years to come. Um, this saw small, mid-sized regional banking stocks take a really big hit. That, that dragged down the Russell 2000, which was the worst performing index, around 2%. Um, Forex, the repricing lower of rate expectations saw the US dollar lower in the session. Uh, the US dollar index hit the 101 handle, which is the lowest lowest level since February, sitting on a, a critical support level there. Uh, safe haven currencies, the Swiss franc and Japanese yen both outperformed the greenback on the risk off conditions. The, the, the franc hovering around uh, 90 and a half US cents. Uh, the bottom of the day's range, another major support level there. The dollar yen uh, hit a low of 131.52. It ran out of momentum there just above the psychological 130.150 level. Uh, Aussie dollar was the clear laggard uh, in the wake of the RBA rate decision where it held rates after 10 straight hikes. Uh, saw the Aussie Kiwi give up all of Monday's gains, uh, trading under that critical 107 level just above major support at around the 106.70. Commodities, oil managed to hold its gains from yesterday's gap up uh, after the surprise cut by OPEC Plus over the weekend. So that's continuing to under, underpin oil prices. Gold was a big mover. Uh, as a weaker dollar, lower rates, uh, risk off, saw it really smash through the top of its recent trading range, hitting its uh, highest level in 12 months, sitting around the 2020 US dollars an ounce level. Uh, today's economic announcements, more employment data from the US, uh, which again will be closely watched ahead of Friday's non-farm payroll. And at the same time, Canadian employment figures will be released. So uh, US dollar CAD traders, beware of that.